Ronaldo's record-breaking goal, stoppage time when it remind us that no one does drama like Portugal's captain. Thero, Portugal, if anyone is still wondering whether Manchester United are getting a Cristiano Ronaldo whose best days are firmly behind him, just ask the shell-shocked Republic of Island players who thought they had denied him a goal-scoring world record in Estadio Algarve, only to see the Portugal captain smash it and then add to it in the space of 7 wild minutes at the end of a 2-1 World Cup qualifying victory. Nobody does remarkable football drama quite like Ronaldo, but this historic knight in Pharaoh was up there with all of the great moments of his incredible career, largely because, for 89 minutes, he was having one of those nights when everything seemed to be going against him and his team. But at the end of it, he had claimed the international scoring record solely for himself, having been locked on 109 goals alongside former Iran striker Ali Day since netting twice against France at Euro 2020. I needed one goal, and I've scored two, Ronaldo said. I'm very happy for the two goals that gave us the victory and for breaking the record. Ronaldo is now on 111 goals for Portugal after scoring his 110th with a stunning header from an 89th minute Gonzalo Gages cross. And the 36-year-old, who completed his return to United from Juventus on Monday, did it again with another header from close range in the 6th minute of stoppage time from João Mario's cross. But while this ended up being a memorable occasion for the right reasons for Ronaldo, it could so easily have come to a shuddering halt after just 10 minutes. With Portugal having been awarded a penalty following a Jeff Hendrick foul on Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo grabbed the ball for the spot kick, sensing an easy opportunity to break the record. It was a very fortunate escape from a red card, but if Ronaldo thought his luck was in, he would have thought otherwise moments later when Ireland goalkeeper Gavin Bazunu, a 19-year-old Manchester City player who was relegated to English football's fourth tier while on loan at Rochdale last season, dived to his right to save Ronaldo's penalty. That was the seventh penalty miss from 21 taken in Ronaldo's Portugal career. Whisper it, but United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer might want to have a quiet word with his new signing about allowing Fernandes to continue as the first choice spot kick taker at Old Trafford. From the moment Bazuna saved his penalty, Ronaldo cut a frustrated figure. This really wasn't how the script was supposed to play out, especially at a stadium where he had scored more goals, 10, than anywhere else in his international career. Cristiano Ronaldo broke the men's international goal-scoring record by scoring both goals in Portugal's 2-1 comeback win over Ireland. A tactical switch by Portugal coach Fernando Santos at the start of the second half, which saw Ronaldo move to the left and substitute Andre Silva play through the center, gave Ronaldo more freedom to create his own chances. Fernandes, who struggles to impress with Portugal, once again found it difficult to make an impact, with Santos favoring the ball being played through Bernardo Silva. Neither Fernandes nor Silva seemed capable of getting the ball to their talisman, and it was painful to watch at times as Ronaldo increasingly threw his arms in the air in exasperation. His record-breaking goal was classic Ronaldo, a powerful leap and pinpoint header, and the stadium erupted in joy and relief. He may have achieved his personal target, but Portugal still needed a win to maintain control of their World Cup qualification hopes, and he did it again in the 96th minute. That goal saw the stadium erupt again. He now has 111 goals in 180 games for Portugal, so it's now on to the next target.